For the first time in history, you have a society that is capable of pervasive surveillance, that is capable of logging every phone call or every email. And the fact is, our privacy law is not ready for that. When I worked at the Federal Trade Commission, it became clear to me that if you were going to work in the space of privacy policy, you needed to work hand in glove with technologists. David was the head of the Bureau of Consumer Protection at the Federal Trade Commission. We had an administration-wide effort uh, looking at consumer privacy questions, which ended up in the creation of the Consumer Privacy Bill of Rights. And one frustration Danny and I talked about all the time was how we needed to better integrate technologists, engineers, into setting privacy policy. We are pairing Georgetown Law students and MIT engineers, and we're challenging them to together write privacy laws. We've met every week, joined two classrooms by video conference link. At the start of the semester, we go up to MIT and we really take a deep dive into the technology. But at the end of the practicum, our MIT team comes down to DC and pitch their projects to privacy advocates, prominent industry representatives, and to folks at the Department of Commerce. Privacy is changing faster than we can even think about it. How you make laws in an environment like that and how you think about technology in an environment like that is enormously challenging. And the fact that you can get students with sophistication in both who can now share their perspectives is a great opportunity. Without an understanding of technology, we really wouldn't have been able to figure out whom we want our bill to cover, what sorts of technologies we want to cover, how we can regulate these devices and mobile health apps without breaking the internet. It's not just writing for anything, it's writing something that could be used. Maybe it won't be used, it doesn't matter. But we did the exercise of thinking, right now, at this moment, with the laws that are going on, what could be a good law and policy for your specific subject? Right now, if we can set the right rules in place for the society, for how the government should treat its citizens and how companies should treat those consumers, it will set us on a powerful path that allows innovation but protects privacy. Technology is transforming the kind of questions that lawyers should be thinking about. So we have really focused at Georgetown at being a school at the forefront of thinking through the connections between law and technology and preparing students for practice in a technologically transformed world.